is probably quite loud. The first ever unplanned Wednesday. I should have made these smaller, to be honest. Uh, what was I thinking when I wrote these? I may talk about the story of how I almost got busted shoplifting this book. Gorgeous book covers I can't resist. Yes, okay. Oh. I am probably never going to read this book. I mean, at least not not in the next five years, I would imagine, and not in English. A dollar? Maybe two dollars? I don't remember. How can you say no to that? Look at it. Who, who even gave this to the op shop? Can you guys actually please, seriously, tell me in the comments, look at that spine. Can you, would you turn this down for a dollar, even knowing that you weren't going to read it? Because I can't. I can't. I couldn't. This one was actually new from a bookstore that was closing down, sadly. Does anyone else feel that thing when a bookstore or a, a fancy chocolate shop or something is closing down and you're like, Oh, that's sad. They're closing down. Cheap stuff! But look, it's got a little kid riding a bike in the corner of each page. Do I need that in my books? No. Do I want it? Yes. Feather damaged pectorals and... Okay, I've, I've come across a word I can't pronounce. That's not many words in, Lamont. You're like 12 words in, and you've come across a word you don't know. Good job. Oh, dude. <laughs> this one's so heavy. And again, this look at the condition of this thing. It says $5, but I know for a fact that it was $2.50. Because I remember these things. Because my life is important, and I have lots of things going on. E.T. Bonhomme. <laughs> Seriously, fantasy readers... Can you guys make any sense of these? And I don't mean like, can you read maps? I mean, I can never picture what's going on in the author's mind thanks to a map. Also, let me know in the comments, does anyone have that whole set? There's like a whole book that's just the maps in like really big poster form. I saw it in, again, an, a second hand shop and I was very tempted. It looked it looked beautiful. The only reason I bought this was that at the time it was the only audiobook that I owned in Swedish, which looking back on it is completely ludicrous because everything is an audiobook in Swedish. This was the first book I finished in Swedish, so it sort of has a special place for me. You guys know the feeling. You're on this channel. You know what I mean. But this, oh, I mean this, I think I just prefer this because I'm shallow. Look, design matters is my point, okay? Design matters. Design books like this, design fewer books like, what is that? Every time I look at it, just Jin Yong, pen name of Lewis Cha. What? What's the point of having a pen name if you, then, if you then put your real name there? That's bad, that's an example of how you shouldn't do it. You can be weird and good, but that's not. That's weird and bad. It's not as if crime novels can't be done well. Look, I'll show you. Tell me what you guys think. Swedish or English? I think I'm slightly more sold on the Swedish. I think it's a bit broodier. I think the abundance of yellow on this one just is not for me. And you know what's strange? And this is the sort of stuff I notice. This is a stock photo and this is a stock photo, but they are not the same stock photo. Now my question is, why are these two covers so similar despite the fact that they've used different stock photos even though the book has the same title. Why would you change it? Typeset in Swift Neuer 10.5 slash 15 point. What, is, what does that mean? There's this whole thing that goes into the typefaces and everything, which is why I don't understand. Never, ever, ever print a book in a sans serif font. If you print a book in sans serif, I hate you. You are a bad person. It's true, the font is getting larger. Look at this. It's huge. We're down to like 70 words per page now. A Song of Ice and Fire, book three. The Swedish one has both the volumes in one book. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? I've got this massive pile of books down there now that were there and now they're there. This was a dumb idea. I'm not a fan. And also the bear doesn't, from memory, that, that doesn't have much bearing. <laughs> That's, the bear doesn't have a big part in the story. Nice title. Nice concept, nice cover. One thing, they choose too many textbooks in this book to say like, look at this weirdly titled book. It's like, yeah, it's a textbook on a, in an extremely specific topic. That's not fair. Like, short-term visual information forgetting. I mean, that's not that weird. Okay, that's weird. Bogs of the Northeast. <laughs> uh, British people. If you don't have big breasts, put ribbons on your pigtails and other lessons I learned from my mum. Yeah, it's weird. It's deliberately weird. Flower drying with a microwave. Okay, that is strange. Right, 
This one, it is a nice cover, but that is not why I'm talking about it. I said in a video once upon a time that I may talk about the story of how I almost got busted shoplifting this book. We're in a fancier city in Australia that only rich people can afford to go there to retire. So it ends up being just all these shops that charge like three times as much as you'd normally expect for the same thing. And then thrift stores where everything's the same price that it always is in thrift stores. So, I was looking for something to read. I found this in perfect condition. Like, it was brand new. And it still had the price tag from the original purchase on it that was $35. And it was $3. And I was like, obviously. We went into some other stores. We then go into a new bookstore. And this is a new release. Top 20, like, buy this now kind of thing. There's thousands of copies of it. And I'm here with a copy that looks like I've just taken it off their shelf. And I go to walk out and they're like, so you're gonna pay for that? And I was like, no. Uh, from memory, I had a receipt from the thrift store that just said book $3 because that, that's just how they catalog things. It's just like book or clothing or shoe or what a shoe, <laughs> one shoe. <laughs> I don't suppose you have the other one. I, I think I had a receipt saying that I had purchased a book but that could literally be any book. I mean, how that if you were going to pull a scam on a new bookstore for a $35 book, that is how you would do it. This is insane, right? I'm cheating for this video topic, but a dollar. This book was a dollar. And it's these large format photographs from the region of China with the mountains and the water. And I don't know, people will know what it is, that thing. If you were printing this on your own, just that photo would cost you a lot more than a dollar to print and this whole book is just full of them oh damn i don't know if you guys can see that because of the light but th like this whole book was a dollar the story with these by the way is that i wrote 32 random topics i tore them up and put them in here because i tend to overthink my videos and this is a way of stopping me from doing that so anyway that's what's happening make sure you leave me a comment and subscribe and bye